a couple weeks ago, we were in Worthington, Indiana, when one of the contestants in the fall fence forum got attacked for not double wrapping his wire. Basically, all the people on the internet said, you're doing it wrong, you guys are a bunch of half butts, and you don't know what you're doing. Why would you put that on the internet and then claim to be the world's best fence builders? Does it really matter? Do you have to double wrap your wire? To test this theory, we're gonna get all myth bustery on it. So we've got a crane scale here. We're gonna single wrap down here. Pipe is gonna be the thing that slips the worst. So we're gonna hook up the wire. We're gonna double, we're gonna single wrap to begin with, hook it up to a crane scale, see where it fails, and then test it again with the double wrap and see if that actually strengthened the knot like these knot heads. Can I say that? Can knot I call head. them knot heads? Like these knot heads said. How many things do you think we're gonna do wrong in this video? Probably all of them. All of them. The difference is we're doing it on purpose. So this is gonna be a single wrap. But I predict it'll break where wire always breaks when you stretch it too tight. The knot? It, well, it'll break right there in the... Mm -hmm. Right there where that hardest kink is. Yeah. So we use a high tensile wire knot right here, which hopefully nobody's gonna argue with us on that being the best way to terminate high tensile wire. And we're gonna see when it fails. We're gonna try and think of everything. We don't leave stones unturned. Okay. Not on this show. You ready? I'm excited. <laughs> All right. The hey, wait, 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 wait. I know by now you're thinking, what in the world is that poor man wearing? Well, what are these? Those are stubbies. These are stubbies. And unfortunately, I don't have any putties to go with these. You need which my putties? Would be some putties. So I'm wearing the next best thing, my really nice Twisted X comp toe boots. Because I would hate for anybody to say we weren't being safe. These are brought to us by Stockade and all the Kiwis that use these every day in their ordinary fencing adventures. That's right. Brand new wire, new knot, new everything. This has never been stretched. I feel like we get to the point where the wire just goes plastic. It does. Instead of elastic and we're never going to get any more. Yep. Probably just... untwisting it. Being a reverse twist. Yeah. But you got to keep in mind we're already at three times what we ought to be for tension. Because we're not going up on the scale at all. We're, yeah, we're there. And for some reason, we're still able to pull it. That's coming from somewhere. It's untwisting the wire. Yep, broke right here. So you can see like right here, you can see how it started untwisting the wire well before we ever broke it. And that's why where all the rest of the stuff is laying nice and straight, you can see that we have all these kinks in here. That's because it was untwisting. So what did we learn there? Mm, well, the knot held past what we could actually pull on it with the stretcher. So single wrap with a wire dog at the other end and nothing broke, nothing gave on that end. Hmm. 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 Well, where were we? Like close to 1,200 pounds on one strand? So that's the result. 100 pound increase. That's single wrap. Okay, we went ahead and set the rest of this up. So the first thing we're gonna do is going to be tie on the barbed wire and we'll do a double wrap on the barbed wire. As soon as we get done with that, we'll go to smooth wire, single wrap, smooth wire, double wrap. And then we've got a double wrap without a termination knot and we'll show you how these knots unwrap. Hopefully by the end of it, you'll realize that, well, there's better ways to do things and maybe you were wrong. And we should cross them over because they're going to say we need Definitely to cross them. cross them over. Crossing the back is the secret sauce, I think. And I think that's what we'll be told. Oh, yeah, we're crossed now. We're golden. You can see we got a nice cross right here. If this is going to add strength, we've got the cross here like everybody surmises is going to add any strength. So we'll see. Go down there and prove to them that cross is still in there. They're going to call you a dang liar. We got tension on it. Ooh, there we go. Where's our failure? Broke right in the middle of the run. Right here. All right. So, what does that mean? Look at our knot. Once again, it didn't break the knot. It broke somewhere after the knot on both of these. Down here, it broke in the middle of the run. We won't be able to decide where it's going to break other than to say the knot and the double wrap made no difference in strength. So what was this crane scale at? 14, 1400? 1200 pounds. 1200 pounds, less. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, let's do smooth wire just in case it matters. 
we're going to do the single wrap smooth right here. So this will be our next wire right here. So Luke says that he surmises that we are going to break in one of two places. We're either going to break right here, right where that tightest bend of the knot is, or we're going to break in the jaws of the stretcher. Those are the two weakest spots. So we'll see if he's right. He's been doing this a couple years. Did I mention this was his place we were at when all this went down and people called the spools? Yeah, that's the guy right there. He was the one to put that on. It's called the Fall Fence Forum. If you think you're a good fencer and you want to come compete in that competition, see if you stack up. It's every October. Maybe, uh, maybe put your money where your mouth is next year. Just an idea. So this is smooth wire, not break. One wrap. Ho! Right in the jaws, the knot's good. How many pounds did we pull on it? Uh, looks like 1,200. 12? So here's the knot. It basically just sprung and slid. We can slide this knot all the way back up there. So you can see, this is the knot. The knot is still 100% fine broke in the jaws of the stretcher. You know, the weird thing is, is that that wire broke at 1200 pounds, which is exactly what it's rated for. So we got the full brake strength of the wire right here at the knot. We'll make sure we cross our wire in the back here as he tightens this up. We're good right now. So we'll make sure that's all crossed up, nice and official-like. So this is double wrap right here, double wrap. And he's putting the Putting the meat to it. You ready? I'm ready. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Hey, what do you know? There's our knot right there. The knot did not break. What do you think, Luke? Did the double knot make it stronger? Sure didn't. Sure didn't. I would call smooth wire on pipe. That's a worst case scenario, right? Worst case. Where you're going to get the most slippage. Smooth wire on pipe. The only thing left to show these people is how it'll unwrap if you don't use a termination knot. That's right. So I think what we've proven is that we can pull wire to its breaking point with a single wrap on pipe. We can pull wire to its breaking point with a double wrap on pipe. So the double wrap didn't make it better. The single wrap didn't make it worse. But I think the constant is going to be that the termination knot doesn't fail where the wraps will. Yep. So the wraps are going to fail and not allow us to get to our full brake strength. We're going to do our double wrap again. We're going to make dang good and sure we're crossed up. And we'll see if we can even come close to brake strength before we have an issue. We're good. Good. Yep, pull on it. So what we're going to show you is that without the proper termination knot, that is going to start, look at that. It's already starting to unwind. How many, how many pounds you got on that? So at 800 pounds, well before breaking strength, we're already starting to unwind. Go ahead and give it some more. She's coming fast. Look at that. Every time he pulls on that, it just comes unwound. Oop, there it goes. Did you get to the full break strength? Yeah, we got full break strength. You got there, but we were unwinding as well. So you stretch it up. It's nice and tight, everything's great, then it gets cold. And when it gets cold, that wire contracts and it unwinds a little farther. And then it warms up, then you've got slack in your fence. So this whole premise that on a long run of fence, you gotta have ratchet strainers, which we sell. We all sell, but they're not necessary. I'll sell you ratchet strainers. Yeah. Get your fence tight. I'll sell you springs. Love to sell you some springs. I'll sell you whatever sell you want. Sell by the pound. But is it necessary? No. Nope. Can we bust this? Can we? Busted. This Busted. busted. That's definitely missed. Bu the the double wraps busted. are busted. Absolutely nothing was added by doing that except for time. Added a ton of time and stripping more knots. Added a ton of time and wrapping it all off. Made it so that we had to try and stack it up nice and neat. Get it all crossed up perfect. And didn't add, there was no value add to it. That's my problem is there's no value or quality no value add to doing that. So all. if you're double wrapping your wire, think twice. You're adding a lot of time and no value. And until next time, you have a good dang day.